Grande. Hi, I'm Ed Sheeran. This is Lizzo. What's up, guys? It's us, the Jonas Brothers. And you're listening to The Ruler and Ryan Show on the biggest radio station in Texas. 104.1 KRBE. From the Bell Furniture, unbeatable prices, traffic desk, 59 Southwest Freeway, northbound at Main Street. Some road work was just picked up. Spur 5 southbound between University and Old Spanish Trail. There is road work blocking the left lane. I'm Becca Parker with your KRBE traffic check. When you get your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt, prepare to shout, Jackson Hewitt, yeah, from the rooftop. In the event you don't get your biggest refund, you'll get your money back, plus a hundred bucks. This report is sponsored by Jackson Hewitt. It matters who does your taxes. 104.1 KRBE. Let's get started. It's the Rula and Ryan Show. Wake up, fool! Hey, wake up! It's about to get all stupid up in here! Right here! Featuring <laughs> Eric. Eric! He is a bad, bad man! Special K. The big red K. Are you threatening me? I'm waiting for you. And Sam. <gasps> You've waited long enough. How the heck do you pronounce this woman's name? Rula. <laughs> and Ding Dong. Ryan. 104.1 KRB. Welcome Good morning. morning. Who wants to party? Friday. Friday. It's Friday. 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 All right. It is February the 9th of 2024. And it is Friday. Yay. 6.01 a.m. with Rula, Ryan, Eric, Special K, and Sam. And guess what? Mardi Gras weekend, baby. Oh, Super Bowl yeah. weekend, baby. It is all about Mardi Gras and KRBE tomorrow and the parade. And we're going to give you all the scoop on that. But first, you probably want to know what happened with Chloe yesterday on Roses. Monday morning, 720. That's when we usually do it. So Run. tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be the big time fun for us in Galveston. It is Mardi Gras Galveston. And we are the KRBE crew. The 230 parade. We are so going to party. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's true. You're my dumb question, Amnesty. I've never in my whole life, being a Texan so close to Louisiana and being uh, the fact that Galveston is right here, I've never been to any Mardi Gras official what? parade or anything like that. And so yesterday we were talking about the parade to- tomorrow and I said, okay, so I have a question. You know, like in a lot of parades, there's all these different companies that have floats. I thought we were just one float for KRB. They go, no, we are the whole parade. Yeah. It is all KRBE. We are the parade. We've got like seven or however many floats. Mm-hmm. It was nine. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know that. Yeah. Kev, I, did, I didn't know that's a, and I said, maybe it's a dumb question, but dumb question amnesty. I don't understand how it's going to be set up. But we're all going to be on one float together. Nope. No, we're they're all gonna, on our own floats. They're going to split each it's one of us up? It's the whole KRBE staff. That's what yeah. I asked in the meeting. Like, Rula will have a float, I'll have a float, Eric will have a float, Kevin and Sam. Everybody yes, we gets all a float. have, a, we're and all there's a bunch of floats, out. and then they put them together, and... And then we go then to we're the gonna balcony, have, like, and have fun. Battle of the floats. I, you know, I, like I was hoping, demolition, de- it, it, demolition it derby. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping that I could be on somebody else's float because uh, I'm going to get pelted. Uh, <laughs> from what? <laughs> so if you throw it to them, they're going to throw they're it back. They're going to throw stuff at me. <laughs> no. no, don't throw beer cans, please. Oh, oh. So it'll be really fun tomorrow. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe it. It's my first ever Mardi Gras. And wow. I can't it's wait. a lot of fun, y'all. I mean, everybody should come out. We're going to be in the parade at 2.30 in the afternoon on Saturday. Bring the family. Absolutely. The and then we'll be up on the balcony afterwards. And it does look like the skies will be clear for our particular parade at this time. So even better, get down there early mm-hmm. and then see us and then get out of there before it rains. It's, if you, <laughs> it's only if a you're worried th- about that, but 30% chance. Yeah, that's, later nothing. that's nothing. And the island, it's small. Like, you know, it just goes away fast. It just it comes and goes mm-hmm. fast. It's so, like, you know, if you don't like Houston's weather, just wait 20 minutes. Yep. Same with Galveston. You were saying, Kevin? There's, there'll probably be other parades after our parade and then again on Sunday. But we'll be there uh, also partying on the balcony over Yaga's. Yeah, It'll be a whole next level experience. Cause That's like the most choice spot. It is all the strand, and you know during the day the parades they're pretty pretty tame. At night, you know, it gets a little turned up. I can't <laughs> wait to see see y'all turned up again. <laughs> it's been since Vegas, right? Oh yeah, it's been a few weeks. Okay, Plus, you ready I to do a, it again? My daughter's <laughs> having like five of her friends at at uh, down there, so I have to. Chaperone? Chaperone that, too, with my wife. So, so drunk I'm like, daddy is going to be the chaperone? Yeah. Do these like, parents know that drunk dad is the chaperone? So I got beha- to behave a little <laughs> oh bit. Gosh. I can't be too... I wanted to uh, be like Sam and bring my dog, but uh, I just think that she's 15, and yeah, you know. she had a rough night last night. Like, I am, I got a feeling uh, this is what you must feel like every day, Sam. Like, I was up the entire night with that poor little dog, but... Doing what? 
she was like coughing and having a hard time and kept like pulling at my face. She needed to go out nonstop, go into the bathroom and not feeling well. And it's just Aww. like, uh, we're in the golden years. Ryan. That's when I'd be like, oh, gosh, hey, you might, oh my gosh, Ryan, you're so doom gloom. <laughs> no, 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 no. I feel like you've been trying to kill your dog off for two oh years. Oh my yeah, God, no. Totally. I'm doing no, everything. Right. I'm doing everything She's humanly possible. She's a senior dog. It's her <laughs> last day. And then That's what, like saying you're, oh, my parents are over 72, so they're going to no, die No, 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 but when we, went to like, the, when we went to the vet. Enjoy it. Don't even put that out there. I do. There. I enjoy every day as a bonus day because we went to the vet. Bonus vet. day. See, well, you, you see, you think I live every day, and that includes me, too. You know, got to enjoy every day. But the vet said, I have never seen a cocker spaniel live this long. I've been doing this for 40 years. I've never seen a cocker live this long. You're blessed. And I'm like, oh, well, yeah. I look at it that way. So we just and have fun. And then he goes home starts crying and says, ah, is it Tomorrow. No, oh, don't do that. What day is it? You wake up every day looking. <laughs> now I'm in a good mood, so we got a lot you, of action-packed you show. brought us down there. Okay, oh, coming sorry. up next, we're going to go over the secret <laughs> sound. We, had, we gave more money away yesterday. We are on to a new sound. We'll give you the full recap. Here's your weather for today. Okay, so uh, just like it's been, it's going to be cloudy, and we're in the 70s. What is the current temperature right now? Not of age. 63 of degrees. 63 degrees and 612 on the Roland Ryan Show. From the big screen to the big house. Rule and Ryan Celebrity Scoop. 104.1 KRB. Okay, KRBE secret sound. Oh, uh, we are at a new sound now, so we restart the jackpot at $104. So let's go over what's happened since yesterday. Yesterday, Elizabeth on our show got the secret sound that we were airing, and she got it right, uh, pretty much right at the gate. It was a microwave door slamming. She got two hundred eight dollars. Mm-hmm. Then cool. there was another sound after that. And what time did that one get guessed, Sam? Um, so that was scissors, and I got guessed at four thirty uh, last night, and okay. that jackpot was, was four hundred and sixteen dollars. Congratulations, four. Amanda! I, I heard okay. that one like immediately. I was surprised. I thought that was going to be right out of the box. So we have a new sound now. Mm-hmm. And let's hear that sound. Okay, what is that sound? Let's hear it again. All right. When we tell you it's time to be caller 104, you need to guess what the sound is. And if you don't know the sound, we add another $104 to the bank. Uh, There are five times between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. where we tell you to be caller 104. And you always want to listen to the wrong answers because you don't want to re-guess the same wrong answer. But there have not been any guesses yet. Well, that would be the worst. Correct. Yeah. Today's the, the first. last person. So yeah. it's 104 yeah. bucks. Yeah. Go to krbe.com to become an insider. We can send you a list of the exact times we're going to do the contest. And when you follow us on our socials like Facebook and Instagram, you you know, when it gets real high up there and people are like so stumped, we throw out some clues. So what do you think that sound is? KRBE mm-hmm. secret sound. Okay. There is a show called Quiet On Set. The Dark Side of Kids TV. Ooh. And it's going to air on March the 17th and the 18th on Investigation Discovery. Oh, IG channel. And cool. the reason it's going to air is because there have been plenty of allegations over the years of kids who worked at Nickelodeon who say one creator in particular was very abusive. And his name is Dan Schneider. Now, if you are an 80s kid, Dan Schneider was one of the students in the ABC sitcom Head of the Class. He was also he was a Ricky. chubby guy. He was mm-hmm. the chubby guy in Better Off Dead also. I know Head of the Class. John I and, never saw that one. Me neither. And, and, and in a lot of um, the years before, like in the last 10 years, I'd say, there are people who came out and said one specific creator, one specific executive, and they'd never say who it was. But no. now that this show is coming out... All arrows are pointing to Dan (laughs) Schneider about being verbally abusive. Uh, One person said, working for Dan was like being in an abusive relationship. The treatment of his people on his shows was an open secret. There are other employees that say there were alleged predators at the network, while another person references multiple accusations of sexual abuse related to underage Stars. Oh, my God. Um, The trailer does not identify the accused nor provide any details of the allegations. But do you remember when iCarly star Jeanette McCurdy a couple years ago detailed allegations against a Nickelodeon creator claiming he pressured her to drink alcohol while underage and gave her massages in addition to other instances of inappropriate behavior? She didn't. She never identified the creator in question. But this show is going to air 
on the 17th and the 18th of March. It's called Quiet on Set, The Dark Side. That sounds TV. interesting. If that was on Netflix, it'd be huge. Mm. The number one. Huge. No, my I don't daughter watched that channel all is, those shows. Investigation yeah. Discovery. I don't, I don't know, know where that is. Ahmad, you're like literally almost my daughter's age. She grew yeah. up watching uh, Drake and Josh and yeah. iCarly Wizard and Sam and Cat. The thing about that is I believe it because someone pointed out, um, like one of the stars of those shows, they talked about how he had a weird thing for feet. Oh, if you man. think back to all those shows, they would do so much weird stuff with feet. Really? Like, that made no sense. Like, oh, I, I didn't like, watch those shows. Like, so, like, 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 would start off with them, like, oh, yeah. let's try to uh, cut up things with our toes. And it's yeah. like, why? Did they had the toe puppets. Now you're like, now I understand. Now yeah. it, like, makes yeah. sense. Yeah. It's so Ick creepy. Factor. Well, that's like, so uh, creepy. if you look at Quentin Tarantino movies, he always puts feet in them. Like, but always. he's doing at least a grown Grown adults, people, yeah. Kids. kids. Yeah, no kidding. It's weird. Like, I, I believe it. I never understood these parents that let their kids go out to Hollywood and do this stuff. Well, oh, somebody's gee, wait, wait, Where are you looking at something? Why are you looking at me? Well, you're not, you're, your kid's not a kid. No, she's 24. I'm sorry, I'm like a 12-year-old. But somebody's got to be the star of the next show. Don't do it. You hear so many negative things. It's like You think I don't, even as an adult, you think I don't worry about that stuff every second of the day? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I'm just saying for those, I'm not trying to say your kid, but little kids. There's yeah, parents, yeah. and the parents pimp them out. Yeah, and you have to have a like, thick skin to be in entertainment. Look, I mean, it is a fun, super creative, awesome job, but my God, the trolling that you get, you really have to have a thick skin. Well, I feel like, you know, if you see something in your child and they really want to do that, you want to support what they're doing and you hope it works out for the best and you hope they're not abused and you hope they're not... It's naive, though, because we don't realize Hollywood's a bunch of weirdos. Yes, and what we know of Hollywood is that you are completely pulled apart piece by piece if you don't fit the right part and you just will always feel less than yeah you don't look right for this part but you said you said brunette in there in the mid-teens and who can sing and dance i can sing and dance mm, yeah no not you i mean there's a lot of the whole <laughs> industry you. is rejection the whole yeah. industry is rejection it's power trips too these it's suits. led down to one person at a desk with a bunch of headshots just seeing which one's and, gonna, you know, stick out. To think them. about this: like we've all dealt with. I mean, we've been in this business a long time, and we've had some abusive. I know I've had some abusive bosses in the very, very past. Not here, um, but I was an adult. Imagine being a child because you're still in a developmental stage, and to hear that kind of verbal abuse or somebody making you second guess everything and making you feel less than. Well, think about it. When you are a child who is acting because they need kids in shows, there are storylines of families. Well, they need to cast a 10-year-old. They need to cast a 9-year-old. You are... You are a child in an adult industry. You are in a mm-hmm. business. This is a business. So you have to bring the child's mentality and maturity up to an adult level. And like, what? what's the big deal? This guy's screaming his brains out. Just deal with it. But usually in a classroom, if the teacher is screaming their brains out, somebody's got to report that teacher. Well, wasn't right? that what, uh, <laughs> what Michael Jackson said his entire life, that he did not have a childhood? Right. That's why he had that Peter Pan syndrome problem. Like, he just always wanted to be in Neverland. He's like, you know, the... I love the Lost Boys because you never had a childhood. Let's move on to some more fun news. C.J. Stroud, yeah! Woo! Associated Press 2023 NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year. Got that last night in NFL Honors, which is so great. And Eric, I did not see when they did Coach of the Year. What happened? D'Amico Ryans didn't get it, but what happened? He, uh, They had the same amount of votes, but because the Cleveland Browns coach had more f- first-place votes, and I'm talking one, by oh, one. my God. He got Coach of the Year. Are you kidding? Which is funny because oh, they vote before. After the season ends. Uh-huh. So even though D'Amico took on this guy with the Cleveland Browns. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we beat them. Yes. It, the, 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 the votes Smoked were already him. in. Darn oh, it. that's not fair. But also Darn Will it. Anderson won, too, for Defensive Player of the Year, Rookie of the Year. Oh, that's pretty cool. And guess what? So we have both both rookies. We got some good uh, Texan publicity. And then Texan Andre Johnson. Andre Johnson's the first my player Texan, my Texan shirt in the Pro on. Football Hall of Fame. He's the first Texan. To go Yay! in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. About time. That was a good time. See, that's what you kind of forget. When, there's super, there when the Super Bowl ago. is happening that whole yeah. week of, there's all these events. And so NFL Honors happens, and they do the... There's a lot of, like, professional events, and that's why so many people go to the Super Bowl city because all these ex-football players and ex-big stars and coaches, they all have their own business to take care What's of. What's frustrating is, like, Andre Johnson, like, he played with quarterbacks that weren't, like, you know, world beaters, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. So... What do you mean by world beater? Like, Patrick Mahomes, like, Travis Kelsey... You know, they say he's one of the best tight ends ever, but he also has Patrick Mahomes. Tom Brady at Gronk. Like, those two 
needed yeah. each other and they used each other. It's like and that's how they became. Andre Johnson was by himself. He's yeah. like, I could only catch what's thrown to me, and when he, they, you throw it to him, he caught it. Yeah. What if you look at his stats? It's amazing. He did that with uh, no Pro Bowl yeah. quarterbacks. One I guess Schaub maybe one man force of nature. Times. I think he did. He play with Matt Schaub the longest though. That's probably the longest quarterback he was with. Was it the longest? I don't know. David I've, Carr. And, I don't know. I feel like there's a bunch of people the in there. He played with David really Carr. Well, goes back that long. That. I, and I think Carr was out by then. Yeah. I think Schaub might have been. Yeah, Carr Schaub was, was like, like in the years. Because somebody texted yesterday in the show if, if XYZ had not happened, we probably would have won the Super Bowl that year. I mean, there was one year where we really did so well. Everyone had a lot of hope. And then, you know, I suppose they had the Osweiler or whatever. What? Oh, yeah, that guy. Was he Brock? was really tall. Brock, yeah, Os- the, Brock Osweiler was that I think it was something like that. Yeah, he's Super sucked. tall guy. During like 2016, 17. And then he, he got... Blown out, I think, after like a year or a year and a half, and he just got paid that giant contract just to sit around. Think of, for all the stories of like athletes that don't get paid anything, it's over. Like you got you got cut by the team and they don't pay you. What's the percentage of guys who played for one year and they just sit out the next five because they're just getting paid? There's because a, of the way their contract was. There's a Mets set player. Up. If you look up, I forget, I just forgot his name, but he's 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 been getting paid for like he gets paid for another ten years, I think, mm-hmm. and he hasn't played in like. 15, 20 years. What? They like, they want to, we'll pay you $2 million here, but then we'll pay you like oh. $2 million for the next 30 years. So every year he gets a big check. But usually in football, we learn that Benilla, they don't have, have their, it up. their whole life contracts. It's football like contracts aren't that good compared yeah, to... Yeah, baseball are the best contracts, right? Guaranteed. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, the Super Bowl is happening on Sunday in Las Vegas. It is the sixth appearance by the Kansas City Chiefs, and they've won three times. So if they win... On Sunday, it'll be their fourth win in five. Who's been to the Super Bowl? Well, they, no. Yeah, it'll be their fourth wow. win if they win. Really? I mean, total, not in the last couple. Who's of years. been there the most? Patrick's only won twice. Uh, Bill, th- right. the Patriots. Patriots, right? They've won the most, or yeah, they yeah. tied with the Steelers. I yeah. thought they were tied with the Steelers. I think they have. Maybe they have, they have seven. seven now. I think they have seven. The Steelers have six. six yeah, real quick. <laughs> but I think Patrick Mahomes had. He's got two victories and one loss in the Super Bowl. That's right. And if he wins, it'll be three and one. And if, awesome. and if you're eating a chicken wing on the Sunday, yeah. 1.45 billion of those are going to be consumed. 1.45 billion chicken wings will Sounds be consumed gross. on Sunday. Get your orders in now. Don't wait till like 2 o'clock. Oh, I know. 2 o'clock on Sunday. And thinking yours going to be correct. But don't buy them today and then think you're going to reheat them. I used to order them in the morning. Serve them off as fresh on Sunday. Like Wingstop yeah. would have like a, a counter, a table uh-huh. mm-hmm. to the left of the counter. And they'd have like... That's where you get all your food and stuff. You and I do the same thing. 50-50, you got to get the original buffalo wing and then the Louisiana rub. Yep, Ryan turned me onto those rubs. Oh, Never man, had that's that. good. Mm. Hey, that sounded bad. That. Yeah. Here's Eric. Ryan turned me onto those rubs. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is this Deshaun Watson situation? Okay, coming up next, open phone Friday, 713-390-KRBE. You can chime in on the Rule and Ryan show about your weekend. We'll give you more um, details on our Mardi Gras parade. If you're going to be in Galveston, we want you to come... Bye and hang out with us. And Rola, we got to... Uh, Sam, bring up my computer real quick. Yesterday, I played that edited call about Kevin. Ryan, I swear to God, if you edit my last voicemail or whatever, you're a cotton-headed mini-mugging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got him back. Well, let's see what happens uh, next on the Rula and Ryan show. It's KRBE and more of the Rula and Ryan show. And it's time for Open, open Phone, phone Friday. Friday. 713-390. KRBE, what's on your mind? What are you doing this weekend? Let me tell you what we're doing this weekend. Tomorrow, Galveston, it's Mardi Gras, and we're all about the KRBE crew. Our parade is at 2.30. If you are heading to Galveston tonight, make sure you are on the Strand tomorrow so we can throw you some beats. Now, if somebody's texting, they couldn't uh, get, they were too busy, they couldn't get, uh, no call us, but they want to know why we could say Super Bowl. Oh, yes, let's because answer that question. Not a contest. So, a lot of times, if you hear people <laughs> say the big game... The big game. The reason they're saying, oh, we've got your tickets to the big game, the NFL, MLB, all those all those sports entities, they are very, very strict about using the name of their events to promote yourself or even if it's promoting them giving away tickets to their game. If they if you do not go through the right channels with the NFL, you are not allowed to use the words Super Bowl. You have to be an official when you're talking about something. So you got to say tickets to the big game or the contest between the team from Kansas and the team from California. Yeah, or if we're like, Rilla's going to be out at this 
bar. place. I can't say I'm there for the Super Bowl. I'm the, come watch the big game with me because we'll have draft special. Like but Mattress, Mattress Mac, you never hear him say Super Bowl. No, he doesn't. Nope, he says big game. If you're doing but a news story. But if he's story. an official NFL sponsor, he can say Super Bowl. Now, just for me saying, hey, I'm going to be in Vegas this weekend for the Super Bowl. Well, I can say that. Or later on when we talk about, like, the facts of the Super Bowl stuff yeah. going yeah. down. If you're doing, a like, a news type story. billion chicken wings are going to be consumed during the Super Bowl. Because that's the event that people are watching to consume the chicken wings. Yep. So yesterday at this time, I caught a little flack because I edited a guy's call. Remember where Kevin said... Okay. It's not just any guy. Kevin. Alex, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Sorry. It's Andrew. Yes. Get the facts straight. He's my number one fan. It's He's Alex? Eric's number one fan. Al- Alex, that oh, Andrew. Oh, he's your number one fan. fan. You got his name wrong. Yeah, wow. Alex. But I was still thinking of Andrew from the night, day before. Yeah. That one, yeah. Sorry. So Alex but is Alex. a super fan. When we play the Rapid Fire Quiz on Wednesdays, we met Alex via the listener line. Loves Eric. always like, yeah, Eric. Really met him in, Eric. Met him in and, and person met him in person. Once. And then I sent Eric a video. This is Alex, your super fan. And so Alex likes to chime in on the show, whether it's live or uh, via the listener line. It's 713-278-VENT. And so yesterday we played a call that was manipulated by Ryan Chase. Kevin, I uh, heard he was fat. <laughs> He's it's trying a, to help him out. It's a good edit. It's a real good edit. You did a great job on that. <laughs> now, this one I intentionally, because he called again and he was not happy. He actually warned me not to. He's like, Ryan, do not edit me. And here's what he said. Ryan, I swear to God, if you edit my last voicemail or whatever, you're a cotton-headed mini-muggin. <laughs> it's just funny that because he had two messages. So he did the first one, and then Ryan's like, when we played oh, it, we're like, he's like, oh, I should edit that. And then also he heard that call. So even the next Alex knew, he's like, uh-oh. Oh, yeah. why'd you do that? You egged me on. So here's uh, Alex calling to give you some words of advice, Kevin. Yeah, what's going on? It's Alex. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's the unedited. Let me give you the edited. Yeah, what's going on? It's Alex here. Kevin, I want to make this very clear. I was just trying to say you were fat, jackass. And if I offended you, jackass over there, I hope that you know that I say you were fat. All right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's I was edited. <laughs> That Poor even... Alex. <laughs> that one's. I mean, you can tell the chop. Well, I think it was Alex quite somebody else a jackass. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, you want to hear the unedited? Yeah, give the guys. All right, here, here, here's the real one. Yo, what's going on? It's Alex here. I had a call for Ryan and Kevin. Ryan, that was pretty funny, but you're still a jackass, and there's nothing new there. <laughs> Kevin, I want to make this very clear. I never said you were fat, and I never said you looked fat. That jackass over there <laughs> is trying to put words in my mouth that it is safe. And I never said that, all right? I was just trying to tell you the experience I was having with the diet that I love currently and how it's working for me. And if I offended you in any way, shape, or form, I'm very sorry. But I hope that you know that I never say you were fat or look fat. <laughs> I like oh my, my call God. better. Yo, what's going on? It's Alex here. Kevin, I want to make this very clear. I was just trying to say you were fat, jackass. And <laughs> if I offended you, jackass over there, I hope that you know that I say you were fat, all right? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Open phone Friday. Alex can call at any time at 713-390-KRVE, but we've got Rebecca standing by it's right now. It's bulking season. Hi, <laughs> Rebecca. Welcome to the Ruin Rain Show. Hey, y'all. Oh, hey, y'all. It's, been, hey. it's so good talking to you. You too. Hi. What are you up to today, Rebecca? What are you doing? Uh, well, right now, heading to my very last day of work with the... Uh, for the people that I've been working with for the past eight years, they were there for me when I first started working, got married. And then they're also there, unfortunately, when my dad died three weeks later. Oh, God. It, so, it, Why are you leaving that it, place? Sounds like a really good well, little work environment for you. It, Supportive. Well, you know, when when a shift and change in wind or whatever, like, mm-hmm. in your plans and... Now the wind is calling me to Las Cruces, New Mexico, and you know what? I am so excited about moving, but I've never lived outside of Houston, so this is a new thing for me. Wait, so you got a job oh. in Mexico? That's why you're moving? New, new Mexico. New Mexico. Oh, New Mexico. New okay. Mexico. New Mexico. So you're moving to New Mexico for another job? It's, it's just to help us get her on our feet right now, and I just... I, I Tell who? I'm sorry, I missed that. Did the phone Your husband. Out? Your husband. Sorry, yeah, I missed that. I recognize your okay. voice from the listener line. You're the one that loves to eat animals. <laughs> yes, yep. I am. Are you really? Yes. Oh, yeah. my gosh. When I heard the voice, I'm like, oh, that's Wow, Rebecca, yeah. now we know your name. Are you going to listen to us still? 
from New it's Mexico? Me. Uh, wait, say that again? Are you going to still listen to us on the app? Oh, absolutely. Oh, you, you come and with me. So, All right. yeah. <laughs> but, you know, my work is, like, in tears laughing that I am the lady who loves to eat animals at work, especially my family. <laughs> They're like, oh. <laughs> Are you actually famous, Rebecca? I'm like, I guess I am. Yeah, we were and, that, and that um, <laughs> clip of you, Rebecca, will live on forever. You never know how randomly we might hit. I like to eat animals. Yep. <laughs> I love eating animals. Yeah, like, ugh. I don't know why I called that one time, but thank you. My God, that was amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> I always have fun going through your list for now. I wish you good luck. And today's your last day at your job, and when do you actually make the move? It, sometime in March. So, okay. yeah. Oh, Rebecca. Well, I'm glad that you can take us along for the ride. Back in the day, you couldn't. You left the city. You couldn't take the radio station with you. Now you can listen to us around the world. Yep. God bless you. Yeah, so, yeah. Shout out to Erica and Edna and Olga. Everybody, they taught me so much. So thank you. Oh, that's Aww. so sweet. All right, big uh, hugs to you, Rebecca. We can't wait to hear you about your new adventures. Have some animals. We love you too. <laughs> yeah, bye bye. that's what he is. Bye. That's <laughs> <laughs> animals there. Oh, that's cute. Uh, Jennifer's on the line, 713 390 KRBE. Just real quick, Jennifer, who you want to give a shout out to before we move on? Um, I'm just really excited about this weekend because my husband and I are celebrating 12 years together. We're high school sweethearts. So, Aww. all right. Uh, Yay. Just, yeah. Made it 12 years. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. And what's you his prove name? me wrong because I always say high school, you know, sweethearts, high school don't sweethearts don't make sweet. it. Yeah, the majority don't. But uh, you proved us wrong. <laughs> yeah. My na- my, so, his name is Josh, and my name's Jennifer. So, we everything is JJ on everything. So, nice. But, yeah, we. Back in 2012, and we've been dating, and we got married actually right before COVID hit in 2020. Oh, wow. So we're celebrating our four-year wedding anniversary, but Congrats. we've been together 12 years. Well, y'all enjoy your weekend. Y'all enjoy your anniversary. God bless you. It's all about love. Yeah. Love you, Ari. Plan it's something. February. Love you, Ari. Plan go like the opera <laughs> like Sunday around like 4.30. What? Just to see if, he, if he'll go. Just to, oh, just to test love. <laughs> it's a Super Bowl Sunday. It's a, it's a way to test his love. She's like, hell, I don't want to go to the yeah. opera. I want to watch the Super Bowl. Hey, yo. Time for KRBE's Rula and Riot show to tell you what's going down, 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 down. in H-Town. All right, it is um, brought to you by us. <laughs> <laughs> Houston ISD Ooh. Superintendent Ooh. Mike Miles well, said last night, students at Madison High School will be suspended if they continue to walk out of school. Now, the students marched out by the hundreds yesterday in protest of their policy that requires all students to turn over their cell phones when they get uh, at the school for the entirety of the day. Students said that was the last straw of a host of upsetting changes to the campus. Now, this Mike Miles is saying you're going to be booted out of school. He's got to do something. Yeah. Well, you can't let the kids run the school. I mean, especially if they're well, just. You also have to listen to them, too, though, a little bit. Well, They've got a gre- list of grievances. Class because they're mad about their listen phone. Listen to the kids, bro! They get their mad about their phone, but you can't, you can't infringe on other people's education time because you're mad that you can't have your phone. I mean, I'm glad I'm not in that position, but I see how there's. they got to do something. got to see both sides, though. You can't just have an uproar the whole day and not do any class. Yeah. So, so strike! Mardi Gras this weekend. Houston will be home to what's most certainly the first drive through carnival staple with a king cake drive through And it's going to be, these Where's are that? king cakes shipped in from New Orleans. Uh, and it's going to be in the Midtown parking lot at 2808 Caroline. You're from telling me somebody from a parking lot selling king cakes out of their trunk? It's like a, no, it's not <laughs> a trunk. It's a massive production. <laughs> They're doing a drive through king the guy cake. that sells like 20 ribeyes for... 50 bucks or something. Hey, look at this. Now, there's a, there's a big article on cron.com. <laughs> I never understood that there's one. There's a deal on this. It's I hear not, radio stations like do that. Psst, buddy. <laughs> yeah, why don't we get that? I want hey, that. You want some on our king station. cake and some steak? It's Eric out here. I'm at the Kroger parking lot. I got 50 <laughs> steaks right now for 10 bucks. <laughs> no, yeah. Would, well, if you want to see Eric and Rula and Daddy. Kevin. Yeah, meet Daddy over here. And Sam and myself and the entire KRBE Air staff, we will be at Mardi Gras Galveston. 2.30 in the afternoon, our parade KRBE will be on our crew, floats. baby. Yeah. It's our first time doing it. It's going to be so much fun. So we can't wait to see you. Uh, y'all drive carefully, and we can't wait to uh, throw some beads at you and celebrate. Coming up next, Special K's got a prank call. It has to do with what? Some training gone wrong? Yes, y'all better act right. You're going to have to take some more DEI courses after this festive weekend. We've got someone who's not going to get a job unless they go through our robocall of Uh-oh. DEI courses. Uh-oh, let's hear how that plays out next on the Rule and Rain Show.